I'm going to read my statement this time around so that uh, there is no misquotation. So following the lawlessness uh, that broke out after the arrest by the Uganda police force of the National Unity Platform leader and prior credible intelligence about groups and individuals planning to plunge the country into chaos, the UPDF will carry out extensive, preemptive and decisive operations to deal with the planned and premeditated designs of criminal-minded elements in the entire Kampala metropolitan area and indeed in the entire country. The UPDF commiserates with the families of those innocent Ugandans who have lost their lives in the senseless incursions which would have been otherwise avoided if elements I repeat, the UPDF commiserates with the families of those innocent Ugandans who have lost their lives in the senseless incursions, which would have been otherwise avoided if everyone played his role or her role in keeping our country safe. This must not happen again during or after this electioneering period. We shall take as UPDF a reinforced posture across the districts of Kampala, Mukono, Wakiso, Enteba, and its environs to enable us to do a mobile thrust in and outside of the city. We shall respond and react quickly and effectively in support of the Uganda police force to any incident of criminality across all levels. What I mean is we shall not mind which type of criminality but we shall be there to support police as and when called upon. We shall respond to all of these incidents jointly. All roads feeding into the city shall jointly be manned while outside forces will provide security at all highways to ensure that no individual or group disrupt a normal flow of a traffic and business. As you may have heard, our highway massacre and so on last night, some goons manned roadblocks there and disrupted traffic. All our deployments across the country are on a preemptive posture to disable and dismantle any criminal minded cell, and we shall act decisively to act to ensure security and normalcy in the areas of responsibilities of our troops deployed across the country is ensured. Effective yesterday, midnight. Robust reinforced deployment to protect our critical infrastructure and installations is being affected. And the public is hereby informed not to do any activity close or within such environs. This may include but not limited to power stations, fuel reserves and fuel stations, and other critical public use infrastructure and services that we think are critical to the survival of the population. And therefore, we shall jointly pursue the already identified culpable leaders of these criminal groups whose status shall be determined by security depending on the gravity of the already unearthed plans. Some of the groups have plans of which can be graded to terrorism level, to criminal level where the police can handle. So anybody got with within those kind of activities shall be determined and then we shall see where to go, whether to civil courts or to military courts, depending on how we find out the posture you are taking. Surveillance mechanisms have been put in place to nip in the bud or evil plans by the already identified groups and individuals bent to make chaos to Ugandans. UPDF and its auxiliary forces, these include ZLDUs, shall support the police to now strictly enforce curfew. I repeat, UPDF and its auxiliary forces shall support the police to now strictly enforce curfew, and therefore the public is prior warned not to be on the roads outside curfew times unless you are authorized. 
before warned is before armed. We call upon Ugandans to cooperate with security to isolate a few criminal-minded people to keep our country safe and secure. Elections will come and go, but Uganda will remain. No amount of pressure or influence, whether internal or external, should divert us from protecting our motherland. I thank you. How to do that in Uganda? Aukuvoru na kuruwa jo, sawa nga mukaga, ezechiro, tuwasi zao, ejiri yebuanga, ili ya UPDF, ejiri na obu manjirivu, obu kugu, nebiyo kukoze sevi mara, atevi omulembe, okukuma ebifobi ya fe, ebiye nchizo. Nga mas, uh, masanya raze, ebitundu ya fevera mga mafuta, Navy Dada Santa and Kidokati John Chidam Oluvanuma, Rokuati Wa, Akulembera, Echivina, Chanup, No Kufuna, Amaulide, Agaraganti, Mulimwa Bantu. Abageza ako kutaba angule guanga Ijeli ya UPDF Ya deploy inze yobali ya atade Amaje muguanga Mubitundu evitalibi muna dara Kampala e ya wamu Nga mwemuli wa kiso Mukono Ne Kampala Ne evitundu evijeto olode Ijeli ya UPDF Ditege seko Obali teseko ibikuwe kweto ibienja ulo. Okule mesa na no okukuwa tabo bona. Ave nyigide. Ate na no okusatulula. Entege kaza abwe. Izo kuteka ko obutali. Embele tali. Ya mirembe. UPDF. Edi wamu. Mukunyoru wana abo bona. Aba firidu abantu babwe. O mubu vuyo vuno ate uwande vade Uwabwe tuwande vade tusobora Ukumara onga fena tukoliraga munga Uwa munga yuga, nga Uganda Tugenda kuteka maje Geguanga liona Nago uh, gatu yamba ko Getu itaba okizili ya rengana LDU mweri Ukulava anti tukoliraga na wamu Ukuja wo embele no Nuku no kuata avo vona Aba jenyi gidemu Era polisi ngabu ina tutegeza Avarara, avamu, ova, no group wabu wama zibuwa kwa atiduwada Na avarara ndo wazabajia kwa atibuwa Ngabu tugenda maso kuteleze mbera Nga tukolela wamu, nebi tongo lebi okweli ndevidara Tujia kusarako, ova, kupa kungudo zona izi ingire chivuga Nezi furuma Ukulava anti tetuweleza kakisa abantu wana ukuingira ichibuga chafe na ukutaba angula business. Ni nkola ya vulijo. Tuasiza, uh, tuafunye ama uli ragamara. Irane tuteka ko ama jegafe. Nevi umavi ya fevilara ibituweleza Ama uli ragabu lichika ukulava anti Ubutabangu fumuguanga tebu vera o Ila tusubiza vana Uganda Chino tugenda chikola na vukugu Ukulava anti eguanga liya filisigara mirembe Tubu uli ravana Uganda anti Okuva noruna kuruwa jechiro Tugenda kuweleza Support yemara Eje liya polisi Okulava anti Kafiu time Tujitademu amanyi Bana haba plani inge chironga Obude wa kafu buwede utu Sobolo bakuata Noruecho umuntu wavulijo Avele waka Mubude Nga kafiu tenaba kutuka Neyanzi za neyanzi Swahili atakuwa Tafanya pamoja Yes Swahili we can do one on one.
thank you very much and a very good afternoon to you all. We have uh, a statement from the Uganda Police Force which is coming out with a number of uh, fatalities and casualties together with the number of persons arrested in the violent political and criminal protests that have been taking place uh, in the last two days. So we'd like to start by informing the public that a total of 28 people have died following the violent political and criminal demonstrations in multiple areas since the 18th of November 2020. The, confront the confrontations began after the arrest of Honorable Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert at Luka Saza Grounds in Luka District due to his continued blatant disregard of the Electoral Commission guidelines, which were further escalated after bloggers uh, posted fake news that he had been killed in Busoga. The noob cell at Kiseka Market began the protests with the burning of tires and the protests spread to some other areas. All indicators reveal that these were events, these events were not just impromptu actions, but part of a loosely coordinated campaign by the political group all along in the areas of Central Region, Kampala Metropolitan, which includes Kawempe, Rubaga, Makindye, Nakawa, Kira Municipality, and Wakiso, the Greater Massacre area, Busoga, and Elgon. Out of these protests, a total of 577 suspects were arrested, some of whom appeared in court yesterday on the 19th of November this year, while others are expected to appear today, including the Honorable Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert. Most of the arrests involved suspects from the Kampala metropolitan area, like we indicated, where the noob cells were mostly created, followed by Masaka, Mitiana, while the remaining group of suspects were from Busoga and Mbale, respectively. Several exhibits, including bows and arrows, piles of uh, stocked tires, bottles, drums of fuel, and evidence of mobile money transactions funding the rioters were recovered. The violent demonstrators were being coordinated by a group of 300 ringleaders who were actively coordinating the distribution of tires to their flashpoints and hot spots using motor vehicles and border borders. Now some of the ringleaders have been arrested and we are still seeking other ringleaders, notably amongst them are the following. Maringolingo Nkedi, who is contesting for councillorship in Nansan Municipality. Machete Ashraf, who is the commander of Freedom Border Borders, and are about 50 in number. Nusfan Nakato, a candidate for councillorship at KCCA. Kulia Soul, a KCCA councillor for Kawempe North. Roda Arias Mama Kampala, who is a mobilizer for noob cells in Waise and Chebando. Bagonza Thomas, the noob candidate for councillor for councillor seat Waise 2 in Kawempe. And Matthias Warukaga, who has been actively mobilizing in Busoga region. We have other ringleaders who were captured on CCTV cameras and other videos uploaded on social media and widely circulated. Therefore, what we have seen in the last two days, that is the violence, vandalism, looting, intimidation and threats 
uh, crimes that were being committed, targeting people who are not pro noop and also against people's property. Now this is something that we cannot tolerate as the Joint Task Forces. As you all know, the Joint Task Force respects freedom of assembly and people's democratic rights, but will not allow for violent demonstrators and criminal opportunists to disrupt the peaceful environment we've had over the years. We have stepped up presence of our security personnel and minimized the use of tear gas, which is indiscriminate in nature, and we've resorted to the use of batons, which are non-lethal and more specific. The task team of the investigators continues to pursue investigative leads and also monitor online hate speech related to the violent political and criminal demonstrations. Therefore, those who continue to encourage rioting and threaten individuals on account of their tribes and beliefs across Facebook posts, Twitter, Instagram, and WhatsApp will be attended to by our cybercrime teams. It is clear that the organized attacks were aided by social media to sow discord of hatred in society and further instigated by ring leaders, which fitted the pattern of some of the new leaders all along and supporters wanting chaos. They were burning tires, which we also setting illegal, illegal roadblocks, using Molotov cocktails, that is petrol bombs, nailed tire cutters, targeting security vehicles, damaged CCTV, they damaged CCTV cameras and street signs, they damaged the tarmac roads, they attacked officers with hammers and stones, they used pangas, they conspired to destroy government and private installations, including petrol stations and umeme installations. Some used the protests as an opportunity for looting motorists across the suburbs of Kampala, smashing windows and stealing items from cars and shops. The riots have had collateral damages, which include 28 civilian casualties, 11 injuries of security personnel, 11 motor vehicles that were damaged, two police vehicles were damaged, two government vehicles were damaged. We also managed to impound 12 motor vehicles that were suspected to be carrying materials of fueling the riots. We also have uh, uh, ambulances that were being used uh, to carry rioters under the guise of uh, uh, sick persons. Going forward, we will continue to work with all partners to enforce laws prohibiting acts of violence. The Joint Task Force is committed to ensuring that all Ugandans freely exercise their constitutional rights in a safe, peaceful, and lawful manner. Therefore, we would like to warn all those that are already drawn into the violent protests and those that are intending to join to reject such calls and remain law-abiding. We shall prevail for God and my country. Let's hurry up. We go to Luganda, and then the minister will come. And we have a new to put there, or whatever. Ne statement eraga ebya kava mu bikolo ebya fujjo ebibaddewo ennaku bire mabega era twagala okutegeeza banna Uganda bonna nti abantu abiri mu nana bwa kafa mu kufa kuno kweto olorera ku bikolo ebyo kwe kalakasa Eva Debieto Lorira, Kubio Bufuzi, Nefujo, Elizari Kolewa, Okuvang and Nakuzumwe, the Kumina Manana, Umwe Ziguno. Obutavan Kuguno, Uba Deo, Bata and Dika, Odvanima, Roku Kwatiwa, Kwa Honorable Chagurani Center Murobat, 
aku chisawe chesa za eluka mudistrikti eluka oruva nyuma aluo kufora nobu tagovirira biragiro biachitongole echa electro commission mugwanga iroko ye karakasa kuno abayo ngero kukumamu omuliro ogu amanyi bebo babloga abaso voli okufurumia ama uli la mafuku ule ngabala ganti hono ebo chagulanyi yali atidua mwitunde vyevo soga ilaka na mauli la mafuku ule bebo bebo avila kabondo kaba nupu akali mwitunde cha chiseka abata andika okoche vipira na ukwe karakasa ilamu wangudara ukwe karakasa ni kwe tolo la ebitundu ebieto lodi kampala na emirano obone robo nabula ganti uh, ebiko labi na ebio kwe karakasa tebya gude obu gui na inga luari lukwe lupange okumala ebanga dene wansiwe chimi na chine chanu iranga babadeba ino obu gondo mwabitundu vya centro mwabuganda Nechitundu cha Kampala Metropolitan Omuli Kawempe, Rubaga, Machi India Nakawa Chira Municipality, Wachiso Nechitundu cha Greater Masaka Busoga Nechitundu cha Elgon Mombali Abantu Bitano Nsavu Msavu Bebaka kwa atibwa Mubiko Rwabi na Ibiye Fujo Kabamu Kubo Batu Walido Mkote Onakure Gulo Vya Busoga Nembali Ebizibi tibizibi kwa atibwa Umuli obusare Tuasobode okuzula Ebi pira pira Ebi werako Ama chupa Ebi Ebi domola vya Vya mafuta Tusobode no kulondola Sente nga wezi wade Zitambula kumobile money Oku Eri abe karakasi wano Obaba kuliru vondo vuno Okwe karakasa kuno Kukwade kukule mbe damu Aba kule mbe la obu vondo Aba wele la dala Ebi kumi visatu Ndabano webade be nyigide Mkutambu za ebi pira pira Mufofofo Eze toro de Kampala ne Mirirano, Masaka, Ntiana, ne Bidara Orede Bibari wa maze okuto ngoza Ndabako zise mmoto kane boda boda Abamu kubaku lirobu ondobu nebisatu Mbaku atidua Na inga waluo naba lalawe tuchari mkuro ondola Era Nga mwabo wetulo ondola abamanyi Mulimu umami kwa ita maringo ringo nkedi Kono yade simbioko, ye simbioko wa kansara, munansa na municipality. Machete Ashraf, one ya kulira kabondo kanub, haka freedom border borders, bawe radama kumiatan, no kwe yongirayo. Umchala Nusfak Nakato, ono candidate kwa kansara, mkesisie, kulia, kulia Saul, kansara wa kesisie, kawempe north. Omchala kwa waita roda, banji kwa manyinga mama kampala, ononga ya kunga, ya kulira ubondo, wanupu, mwitundu yevu wa ise, necheba andu. Bagonza Thomas, ononupu candidate, kwa kansala yevu wa ise tu, ne Mathias Walukaga, ononga yomu, kwe nyigide mkola mobilization mwitundu yevu soga. Tuina niba ring leaders Obaba kuliru obu nda balala TV Nobu tambi obu lala obu unji Mweba zenga baka suka Kumiti imba gano Noruwe nsa ungeyo Yetu zetulaba Mwena kuzine bili Omuli ebi kolebye fujo Okunya Obu zebu kolebwa Kubantu Abete sigamye Obaba tawagira chivi na chanu no kuna nevi nitu vya avu. Echintu chino tachigenda kukirizi vwa jebugenda maso 
ngawe mumanyi akabondo kaba na security kata ekechitibwa mudembeli yaba na Uganda eliyo bwe wange no kulaba ngabenyi gira mu byo kulonda na ete tukenda kukiriza bakozi be fujjo na be karakasi okutataganya eddembe eribaddewo mu nsi mu gwanga lya fe Uganda okumale banga lino lyo na so tongedde mu amanyi mu nyimirira ya fe ngaba na security ba commander twabasabye bakendeze okukozesa omukko ogubalagala esira bali kozese mukozesa batuni kwa batuni ekuyamba okutuka kwabo kinnomu abenyigide mukola fujjo kwanga omukko ogubalagala kwadde gutwalira mu nabantu banji abatenyigide mu bikolwa bino ebye fujjo akabonda akakola okunonyereza wansi wa CID keyongera no kunonyo obujulizi no kwetegereza ebitambulira ku mitimbagano ya internet social media whatsapp nga bireto obuchayi wakati wa bana Uganda no lwenso ngeyo awobonna obwakabira ku mitimbagano ya Facebook Twitter Instagram ne WhatsApp akabondo kafe aka akaba kugu mu byuma bikali magezi kali mu kubalondola kirabika mu kirabika mu rwatu nti a ebikola bino ebye fujjo byasingibwa ku 10 bwa mu muliro aba nga abantu bayitira ku social media okusiga ensige ezo buchayi mu banna Uganda ate ana efujo lino nerigazizibwa abakulira obubondo buno ebikumi ebisatu bali bo chemipira batonze wo road block bakozeseza bubomu obwa machupa oba petroli ne batondawo emisumali gibategane mmotoke za security bono nye kamera ku makubo agenja ulo bono nye corners Balumbi wa polisi ne bana security ne nyondo amayinja na amajambia ne beyongera okono ne bintu bya government ne byo baba nnyini uh, muri petrol station za mafuta abalala bakozesa bakozesa okwekalakasa kuno okwegwanyiza okwegwanyiza okubba uh, no kutigomya uh, bananyini moto kezo bananyini ne basa ndabirwa muza bwe ne baba bana okubabba okutwaliza wa mu kwekalakasa kwa viride ka abantu abiri mu nano okufa bana security 10 nomu ba baine bisago binji bawere nemba ne bisago e moto ka 10 nemu za yononebwa eza police biri eza government endala biri kina ne moto ka 12 eza kwatidwa ngazi kukusa emipira ebidomola bya mafuta alawade akosa ambulance okukukusa abekalakasi ngato yongera yo maso ne banafe tukena ko yongera yo maso nabo banna security abalala okulanga tulwanise bikola bino bya fujjo Ngaba na security tulibete ftefo kulanti wa na Uganda benyi gira mkulo ndakuno Wakati wede mbe Nembe ila Entebe nkevu awatali kutisi watisi wa Elatu wakalo kusembi ayunga tuwa wala bobo na bona Beba sikiriza mkwe nyi gira mbibi kolobi nebye fujo Nabo Beba cha ageza wako kusikiriza Nti baleme okwenyigira mu bino ebikolo ebye fujjo basigale ngabagoberera mateka ku mwebale nyo mwebale ddala Oh, what did I do?
Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, you have you have heard the statements from the UPDF and from the police. You have heard the figures and you have heard the data. I would like to start by saying that all those our viewers, wherever you are, tell your neighbor that peace be with you. Peace be with you, wherever you are. And uh, I want you to find out whether you are safe. Whether you are safe with your neighbor. I want to find out and ask you, ask yourself, why are you feeling safe where you are? You are feeling safe wherever you are because they are security forces who are spending day and night to protect you, to safeguard you, to assure you that you are at peace wherever you are. Now, a country is like a family. you are in a family and one of the members decides to disrupt or become a disobedient or indiscreet and when the responsible people are trying to question him or her and his friends run outside the house to get my voice out since you are at least at a distance I can remove my mask as much as I don't trust your microphone I was saying if one of the members of the family is a disobedient and when he's being cautioned his friends or her friends run out get stones and start throwing stones at the windows of the house. What happens? The only choice you have is throwing security to reinforce you and establish order. So I want you to have that picture. That a country is like a family at a smaller level. Now, what has been happening in the last two days is a very good example. And I want to start by congratulating our security forces and all the patriotic Ugandans who have played their role in re-establishing stability in Kampala and in the other areas where peace was disrupted. Now, the unfortunate incidents that have resulted in two deaths and injuries of our citizens are very unfortunate and regrettable. And we sympathize with all those who have been affected, both the civilians, the security forces, and all the families whose people have been affected. But I want to say that that's what happens when the situation becomes violent. That's what goes with violence. The moment you create violence, it leads to death, it leads to injury, it could leave permanent uh, incapacitation, and it disrupts, it disrupts the society. Now, I would like to explain 
that the Constitution provides that in the enjoyment of your rights, do not infringe on the rights of others. I repeat, in the enjoyment of your rights, do not infringe in the rights of others. While you are enjoying your democratic freedom, while you are enjoying your political freedom, while you are enjoying your media and uh, press freedom, do not infringe on the rights of others. If you are using the social media, if you are using the radio, if you are using the TV, if you are using the press, any leader anywhere should take care of the interests of the public. In this situation of COVID, whatever you are doing, be mindful of the lives of others. Now, whatever you want to do, even if it is farming, even if it is trading as a business person, even if you want to do politics, even if you want to do justice, you cannot do it in chaos. You can only do it when there is security. That is the number one for anything you want to do. Now, those who are inciting and advocating for violence, I want to assure you that it will catch up with you because you reap what you sow. I repeat, if you sow and incite violence and advocate for violence, you will reap violence against you. You will, you will reap what you sow. Now, from what happened in the last two days, all evidence, all evidence show that this was a premeditated, a pre-planned, unorganized plan for violence. Yeah, because uh, th th these were deliberate plans for destabilization. And that's what that's why they were quickly executed in a very short time and in all places, in the same pattern. The tires were available, the burning of the, destroying the roads was in the same manner, the stopping of people and starting to, all the practice was pre-planned and premeditated for this stabilization. Now, when hooliganism, chaos, violence and criminality takes place, all the rights which we normally enjoy, all the freedoms we are supposed to enjoy, are taken away from all those particular people. Once violence starts, it does not even separate which party, it does not separate which category of people you are, it affects everyone. And therefore, there should be no justification there should be no justification for any type of criminality by saying, oh, it was because of this or because of that. No. Nobody should justify for people to commit crime. And I again want to thank and tell the patriotic gun that it is a duty of every citizen. It is the duty of every citizen to ensure security and more specifically the security forces who have not only the duty but are the ones uh, given the constitution responsibility to enforce the guidelines and the law. Now, the arrest of one person, the arrest of one person cannot justify what has caused death, what has caused injury, what has caused disruption, what has caused confusion, and stopping the people to enjoy their peace they were enjoying. There is no justification because 
the 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 they are procedures. They are procedures. Anybody and here I would like to really address the young people. I would like to allow the young people in particular to repeat that as I always tell you that the future belongs to the organized and disciplined. Those two words. The future belongs to the organized and disciplined. It does not belong to the violent and criminal and criminals. It doesn't. Now, the last two days, violent criminal protests cannot be justified because arrest of any citizen is part and parcel of management of society. Arrests are normal. Many people have been arrested. The presidential candidates, the, me the members of parliament, religious leaders, all very respectable people, the judiciary, and all those who should get the respect, who have and should get the respect of the people, are not immune to arrest the moment they break the law or commit a crime. Nobody has immunity from arrest. The moment any one of them behaves as a criminal or breaks the law, he or she is treated, suspected as a criminal and treated as such. If you behave as a criminal, you will be treated as a criminal. I repeat, if you behave as a criminal, you will be treated as a criminal. And this is at all times. Now we even have now we have even a worse situation of COVID. And during this uh, uh, this period of, of elections, if arrest of all, of one of these very respected individuals was to attract violent protests, then it will be daily because you have been seeing some of these respected people, like recently some pastors were arrested. So would it have been good for the for his church to protest and burn tires and break the church and or break the roads for others? Not at all. So let that message be known that the moment you bring yourself to be suspected, you are subject to arrest. And as I have said, this is not the first time in Uganda or anywhere in the world. That, pres that a presidential candidate has been arrested. No, they have been arrested before, and they will be arrested if they violate the laws in the future. There are legal provisions of arrest and their procedures. The best way to avoid being in the hands of security and arrest is avoid criminality. The moment you put yourself in the situation, then be ready for what goes with that situation. If you are a boxer and you go in the ring and they hit you hard, do you complain? Now, you are seeing young people taking themselves against security forces, throwing stones at security forces, burning the city and taking their lives, putting their lives at a very great risk. That is taking yourself in a situation that is very, very dangerous to your life. I would like to appeal to everyone that let no one mislead you into such a situation. We are aware that some people have been not only advocating, inciting, but they have even been training. They have been training and misleading young people to go and that they were training them how to attack police. Imagine that you are being trained on how to attack police. Whoever is training you like that is putting in great, great, great danger. Get out of that. Now, if you plan and prepare and you get tires and you put them on the road, block the public from enjoying their freedom to do their usual work, you burn the roads, you beat and undress people, you, 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 put their, you, you burn their clothes into the fire, you throw stones at security forces, 
and you vandalize and loot, I want to assure you that you are putting not only your individual life at risk, but the lives of so many people, like we are affected these two days. The peace loving patriots of Uganda, by the way, who are the majority? I heard somebody say that for them they are more than the police. No! The police in ensuring peace and security is not alone even. It is reinforced by all the security agencies. It is reinforced by the peace-loving Ugandans who are patriotic and who are the majority of the people of Uganda, young and old. Those who think that they are the ones who want to disrupt are very few. And therefore, they cannot sustain it, I assure you. I would like to use this opportunity because those who want to disrupt our hard-won peace and stability, I repeat, our hard-won peace and stability in Uganda has been out of sacrifice. It has not just come like that. And it's not that it has not had challenges. No. There have been serious challenges step by step. Not just riots, but real wars, like was in the north, like was with the different groups whom we defeated. Very serious challenges. But because of the same method that we use, we have been able to ensure that. Now, I want to use this opportunity to give patriots, those who are old and who are young, to not be intimidated. You know, there is this, oh, we shall ban you if you dress like this, or if you support so and so. Nobody should intimidate you. Let no one intimidate you. And those, as I have said, are very few, and they are our security forces will defend this country against anybody who tries to disrupt and disturb our progress. How come? How come? Ugandans, I want to appeal to you. How come that refugees don't are coming from all the other countries to Uganda and not vice versa? How come? Why are you Ugandans not running out? If you want to try it out there, please go. But the trend has been that all our we have been receiving more refugees because of that hard won peace and stability which we must preserve. Some of these agents, I want to assure you, we have all evidence. And it is very clear. Even yesterday, as you can see on social media, as you can hear how they are communicating. Most of these are agents of foreign forces who are interested in destabilizing African countries for their own interests. Not Uganda's interests, not Africa's interests. Watch out, look out, and be able to choose and separate who is speaking for who. Now, for anybody who wants to be a leader in a country like Uganda, to wish Uganda to be like Libya, Iraq, other destabilized countries, really? Really? Are you admiring what has happened to those countries? What does that show? It shows that people are just speaking for other people's interests, not Uganda's interests. I want to assure you that what a shame for anybody who wants actually to be a leader to find that he can say something like that. What a shame and how can it wish that Uganda breaks up. You know somebody wishes, of course it's a wish. It's a just a wish and I want to assure you that as I have said, the patriotic Ugandans and the security forces of Uganda, Uganda will not be like Libya. Uganda will not be destabilized and I am calling upon all of you that we are now going, now that they have come out, you know, when you want to deal with a, a boy, you let it first get ready, now it has burst. You saw them walking naked. Have you seen that group on WhatsApp of a group of walking naked and they were seeing it? Look for that. It's a shame. Walking naked? 
undressing women and making them walk naked on our streets of Uganda because you want to make Uganda look like destabilized countries, you are just wasting your time. So Ugandan is just, I want you to watch because it is everyone, is to, everyone has the freedom to, to watch and observe and analyze and see who are these people because that is who they are. You know what? This is who they are. They have visibly now demonstrated openly who they are, that they are just people who want to disrupt, destabilize, burn the city, cause chaos, cause violence, cause death. This is who they are. Watch them, observe them, follow what they are saying, follow what they are advocating, and be able to choose then whom you are supporting. Is the one person you are supporting giving you hope for the future? Or the one who is saying, we want violence? That is the only solution. That one is not preparing for your future. Now, I, I just want to say that all efforts by the negative media and negative sectarian tendencies and divisive groups will be defeated like before. You know, there are some who are even talking about how some people look. Uganda is so integrated, I can assure you, those who are thinking of sectarianism, so do one tribe against another. Now, how many tribes are in? If I use the Chagurani, Honorable Chagurani, I have on social media, they are saying, oh, 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 oh Banyankore, Banyarwanda, who is Mrs. Chagurani? If you want to start now campaigning for such a thing, just use that as an example. Ugandans are so integrated. All those who have tried to use sectarianism before have failed. And whoever wants to use that method will fail. Because Ugandans know their interests more than the few who want to cause confusion, disruption. And that's why we need now to call a more education. That see who is saying what and measure him and put him in a minzani and say, ah, this one is not taking us anywhere. Everyone has a choice to support, but base your choice of who to support depending on our common interests. Because we have many common interests, all Ugandans, to defend, and we shall defend them. They have come together, young people, there's a group of young people, I want to assure you, young people, wherever you are, a group of young people from all the parties and all the institutions have come together and started a movement called Violence Apana and they are appealing they will be educating and reaching you. They have said our generation is not going to be disrupted by violence and they have said we have said violence Apana. Not soldiers, not what, but young people who have organized themselves. Now those who have been trained, let me appeal, you heard that uh, the, 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 the Police was giving this information, and we have got this information. Some people have already been trained for violence. As I have said, it is very dangerous for you. It's very dangerous for you. We would call upon you, please leave that training. That is training to put you in great danger. And look at those who are propagating those messages, and we shall expose them. Now, the security forces have been working very hard together. Our joint task force has prepared a good strategy for these elections. And it is to make sure that it is done in peace. But disruption is here and there will come. And I can tell you that we shall also be changing the tactics in accordance with each situation. We have had now the new tactics of Batunus. They were, it was very effective. Two hours, the town was clean. Because it was direct on the culprits themselves. So, we are getting better organized, and I want you to remember very well what I have said, the question of discipline and organization, the question of choosing, and if you want to know who is best organized, because you underestimate the situation, you people. If there is anybody who is organized as the security forces, the security forces are not only organized, they are the most disciplined. We have invested so much in those two because we can act in a very short time. 
than anybody else. Those who think they can cause a disruption, even if you take us by surprise like was on the 18th, when we organize, we shall put you in your place. And the clear message to the public, therefore, and especially to the wrong people who want to disrupt our hard-won peace and stability, is you will do it at a great risk to yourself and you will not succeed. We have had challenges before. We have handled them very carefully, consciously, and emerged victorious in defense of our common good of the people. I would like to ask, whom do you trust more? Really, whom can you trust more? The tested, proven, stability providers of this country or the violent hooliganism that is now emerging? Whom can you trust with your country? Because we've invested so much in assuring you for your peace. So this is the time for everyone to see who is proving full. And in summary, just to finish, I have repeated and I want to repeat, there is no justification for uh, there is no justification for violence because of the arrest of one person and the security forces we are ensure enforcement that's the duty, constitutional duty to ensure enforcement of the rules and guidelines of this country and if you want to enjoy democracy and freedom or your human rights, you cannot enjoy them when there is chaos, you lose them once chaos sets in and those who want to make Uganda ungovernable, because you know there are people are saying they want to make Uganda ungovernable so that they serve their foreign interests. Uganda is going to remain governable as has been in the past and it will, nobody will disrupt it. Because we have been preparing, we have better capacity than ever before and we are going to mobilize even more, as I have said, all the young people who have this country, we are going to defend this country, nobody will disrupt it. So take it from me. My ears I have heard, the observations I have seen of the transition where Uganda has come from can guarantee me that the course we have always taken has been the right course because it is pro-people. It is not pro-violence, it is not pro-anti-people, it is not pro-foreign forces, it is pro-Ugandans and Africans. I thank you very much. And I don't know whether somebody, can somebody summarize that in Uganda? Huh? I summarize. In summary, Muluganda, Mbade Mbabulida, Okusoka, Ngamba Sabantuli, Yonga Soke Yebuze, Asoka Agambe Mune, Jemile Mbejibere Kuye, Kumuno. Wish your neighbor peace, wherever you are. At a way, was it? Am I safe in the Wendy Walunji? At a way, was it you? Chichetic Fura, who bear a safe worry. It is because Kubanga, Walwaba, Abakumi Dembe, Abatebaka, Abako de Missana Nature, to a very movie in the Jordi. Nenebaza. Nemba government, a guanga reading a family. O mutum family, what and coco or queta batabura. Have I no vanize when I beg a coco muka canya? Mikuano jay, never to can again the world, no quarter my injure, but Bakuve, you buy Yavira Yendavua Mama Inja. O Korachi Chokora, Oita security, a jay Korachi, a Kuyambi, a Chava deo. Atezi security boya zze, nge na kwebile zibadeo, ya kozo mulimo guayo, njaga lo kutuwa lo mkisa guno, kweba za evite mwole vya security vyo na, newe mwana inchiba Uganda, abadu unji, abaga la ense no, wabali patriotic. Batu ya mbinyo, nadala jonga waga amati, ah, ono ya abada suka mayanyo, ono ya abada yoche mpira. Kichafu ni mwakuli na tukata waba kute bitanu. Bana Uganda bewa deyo ni baba, baba gamba tono yonu. Atema jaku bogera, wena uemuli. Nolocho mbeba za, abako zo mulimo ugo, mugende maso, bana Uganda tebaba tisa, 
ababibe batono abalungi be balunja bagale mirebe basingo obungi abali mantu be baine nambe singe ya police si police yoka police ina maje police ine bitongole bene byane ebyebikwe ebya security ina ba mwana inchi abagale mirebe bonna na babuvuka bavude ne bagamati violence apana tibagala okono na future yabwe kubanga nze ababuvuka mbagamba emirembe ebisera byo maso biri mwa babetegese burungi ataba ine mpisa wekebere bo uri na toina mpisa tuwetegese burungi ebyo maso si birungi mbade mbagamba ntibona abageza ko Okufuna emirembe mu ggwanga lino bafuna demokrasi bafuna byetaji saba gende mu politics twenza kubikola ngati wali mirembe emirembe yesoka twina nabo ba farming nibwe bacho yagala kola chona oyino kusoka kujikola mirembe bwe nsibwe tabuka byona bifa atene bitwononera okuzimba siwangu sikwangu nayo konona kwangu nyo ato kuzimba bupya sikyangu kijigumu nyo kusinga Ensezo aino nese okuziza amu kija kutwale banga deni okudda wezali kija kutwale vere banga deni bade mbagamba mu bimpimpi nti okwato omuntu omu tekinza kuleta tekinza kujasifyinga tekinza kuleta ugama te hi abantu kabafe abantu kabalumizwe etaune chankaranye wanga umuntu omu bamukutu ukwato umuntu cyaburijyo abani abani abe presidential candidate abe member of parliament abe mukuru we byamadini abe muramuzi twarwa ina immunity bagana kubukwata atese ono si asose mu Uganda nensendara kasta weteka mu kisera kiba ku suspecting anto yo yinonye omanya amateka Obera suspect ne bakwata no lwecho omuntu omwe kumukwata tikina tikirete tikijasifying obate ki justification what do you call it in Uganda tikinza kubera musingi gwo yimirira ko ditwaye karakasi za obato ayinonye kibuga fa kubya abantu kubanga bakutyomu waliwe ntege ko waliwe procedure omuntu wa mukwata Mwamu tuwara mkoti Mwaka tuwaba gami Mwamu tute mkoti So, emi vyo kukwata Pijenda kutelele Avani, avani Kwa sita, amenya amateka Aja kukwati vwa Now Mbade njogera kwa hawa Hawa, hawa, hawa Hawa sasama Hawa sasama Hawa, hawa, hawa What is the site? Hawa sasama za Niba chamula Niba gamba hawa antu Mugende muruwane muta abantu mbateme mwaulide ebikwato e, polisi biye kute biye bade barwanyisa tukyanonyereza naba bafude abasa ababa se byabase kubanga na masasi ababaga bakubiya abakubudwa masasi tetumanyi oba mu bano babade waina ine mwe mundu wazi bade za polisi obazani kubanga bano babade betegese Baine bijambia baine mpira norwecho baina mainja nebye nebise birara ne moto orto kokte warwo mukubo ndaba anyenya mutwe wali ye wakana ndoza mukubo naye babi kute babi kute ujuruzi we buri ate mwamurabye we kijambia police we yakute wamurabye bati wamurabye aha somba gambye ye naba bayegenda mu kwekaraka mu violence violence ya kubadda kubadira okungura kyo siga kyo siga kyo kora ki bosi bosi ga violence violence ekuddawo norwecho basaba mugume banayiganda mugume bwalwa abatisa tisa bwalwo muntu ayine ayino rukusa kutisa banne eh tujenda kubakora ki no the forces are zero war. If you want to know the balance of forces, the security forces backed, supported as always. Ngawa ino wajizi wa mwana inchi. Ba mwana inchi abasi inga baga le mirembe. Wanawe bali mbutare, wanawe bali mmaduka, wanawe bali kungutokwe watambula. 
tebagara ekibanyiza tebagara ekibimiriza mukubo tebagara ababa ngaba wade baba jona no kuba tulugumya bagara mirembe bagenda kujirwa nako mbabuli nti abama wulire abasasanya okutensi no kujitabula ni wabo nabo abakulembeza abagama Uganda ndiye benga Libya o oh, nange omuntu ayagala okulembeza ayagala ensiye etabanguke kweli musoke mugende Libya mulabe kiliyo yali enterevu nyo mafu mugendira ko mulabe kiliyo oba wonawe bade bagamba Uganda teja kuba ngezo nsi kubanga tumaze ebisera nga tuzimba emirembe yawa no nobutebenkevu at a high cost kumuwendo munene nyo 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 at a sacrifice kwe wayo kwa manyi atesiba kubanga ti wabaddewo ebizubu ebi challenging oba kibade ebade byangu no wabade we ntaro yako yuwalu ntaro wa manyi si si kwe karakasa kwa kwa mtawu wana okampala na yetu azi wangu la kubanga tugenda mpola tukwe tumanyike tukola ate tukikola mu sinyi gumu wa burungi bwa buliyo mu bana abatono kubanga abasingo obungi be bantu abalungi bana abatono bagala kono ne mirembe abo tujja kuba wangula mangu nyo ate mwawulire na abala namanya tugaina na byona bibakola tubimanyi na yekati ekizimba kya what you call bust chavise eh kati twina time nunja asajere ye kizimba kubanga chikoze echi mukauli dako banyankole se banyankole baga amatu kabikura rabamu urusi kabichi bachirunji kabine itamu we itamu otereza ekibadde kibi nokola chi tugenda kutereza kati security forces zibade zetegeka zikorera wamu zina strategy mubiyo kula onda kuno zina strategy ne tactics ezokoze sa okulaba anti bulikisera bulikija chona bwo kwa cheta ikisokutusa tactics ngao wade eh, tuvude kutia gaska tugeze ku batuni chikenda kubanga bikola if it is changing tactics we shall change them na yenga tulabyeti bana Uganda bakola bali mu mirembe kense mbayo mbade mbaga amatu mujukire gemba bulide mwino kweno nyeza choice je mutunda kubanga wano twagala bera bera mubarabe bera zebo ka bebo bwe bali batambira misalanga bali kwerere bakuba abantu ngati baula bocha tauni kwache ibuga na wanawe bali babba bebo itibe bagalo kufulembeze bebo singa mujukira nti enara e ekyaji wanguza te kwali kutta abantu kwali discipline mu bantu kate ye discipline mujirabye eye abakulembeze bemwagala ntabe bagala obukulembeze babo kubalabe bana Uganda mbategere babo bavuddeyo liberaga kebali nolwecho mukole cheta gisa bwemba munonya gwe muwajira aleta subi mu maso oba gamba tuberenga Libya oba ayagara konona akaduru ke kasalamu bobo yagala kutusa ah box naye boga manti ja ko isa violence ah bwemba ga manti sisi adu ya kija sisi tuko nini sisi tuko tayari e semba yo twalo justification yo na ogamba manti mweka la kase kwanga bakuto muntu omu kubere wero organized Ntongo lebya security biri singo kubera organized buri kisera tibatwara ku parade kuri ya kushoto kuri ya kushoto tunulewa mu and they are the most disciplined because tubade to invest in them kitu kinene obo burungi we gangwa ya kufe for god and my country bana Uganda mu mure Uganda eri mirembe mu bitundu byo na corner zone za Uganda ziri mirembe kana ke Kampala kali ka surprise atenga bakategese ngabaka planinze ngabakunganya ebipira ngabaina ne moto ko zidistributinga ngabakunganya bijambiya 
Chano nyeleza, abafude wa waba ya urumizi wa, ayaba seyani, abafude chi. So, eno, 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 eno campaign, na darayama wa wama urile, wanga waba hula, wawa sasura. To serve the foreign interests. Kubanga, watani seche no police brutality. Kubagezo kuno nyeleza musizo na, the most friendly police in the world is Uganda. Kubanga wade wa kwa tampora. Na yo muna wangela kuji provoking. Ija kwa kwa tanga police ndara kwezi kwa ata. Na kwa ata kujaketi ya police anywhere. Mwoboye tese mchisawe. Mwogenze mboxing bring. Mwakuba nyo toga amba nti haa. Banku vye nyo. Echizibu. Baino sent Uganda na zawata. Salumanya. Abo katipe tuke nda kuraba nti. We avoid. Ba salumanya kukende na mu. We target. The real carpets and we know them. Norwecho. Muli inde murabe. Tupa muli na muli jo. Nemu gamba nemu nemu chakara ina. Netuba gamba wano. Nemu wande nemu wakere vya mwe. Netuba dida mu. Na ye. There is a proven record. Of defending the people of Uganda. By our security forces. Katonda wa kume. Aba vubu kaba to. Temono na future ya mwe. This is the time when we are organized and disciplined. This is the time. Uganda, where to say, is a takeoff point. No. We are Kujia kuru defendinga. Kati ni maso katonda wa kumi. As you can see the situation, I'm only going to take just a few oh, questions. Oh, no questions. Yeah, quick, just quick four. Yeah? And let them be brief. Start with you. Okay. 
Now I will respond to <coughs> Joseph Kato, Uganda Radio Network. What prompted the use of lethal weapons? He said there has been before. They are the same weapons that have always been used. <laughs> Police is deployed and other security forces with guns, with tear gas, with batons, with the water bowsers, and other weapons. But every situation, now let me, you, 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 you Ugandans, and all people at large, every situation, we say, every battle changes after the first bullet. Write that down. If you want to fight me, as when you were younger, you, you would say, okay, you cut it. If you do, once we have started, how I beat you does not have rules. Although for police, there are procedures of how you change and heighten the levels. Police has a right to shoot you and kill you if you reach a certain level of violence. Can I repeat? Police has a right or any security, if you leave a certain level, they have a right to shoot you and you'll die for jail, for nothing. And I don't want you, anybody who wants to take that risk, do it at your own risk. The moment you attack police, we have had police dead, we have had police now injured and other security forces, 11 of them. Before, you, if they, you want to kill me, why should I wait for you not to kill you? We say, on a wire do we kabla jack, why? You kill the enemy before he kills you. You saw that Jambia man. Suppose he cut the policeman with a panga. The police could have had the right to shoot him there and then with his panga. And there would be no case. So take it from me. This business of, uh, it's everywhere in the world. Attack the police and the police have levels minimum force and in some circumstances maximum force where necessary so it depends on the situation but in this particular case much of it was mainly tear gas bullets in the air uh, 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 some few batons so really it depends on how the situation is even if it were you if anybody holds your hand and is holding it behind and he's only pulling it, you may relax a bit. But once he, he, he behaves in a worse way, how do you behave? Because you are dealing with human beings, against human beings. All weapons are designed, unfortunately, for human beings. And that's why they are armed. Please know that. Officially, constitutionally, armed. So I have no apologies for... Now, we have, I have told you, we have yet to establish those who were shot, actually who shot them, and under what circumstances. That's a matter of investigation. Because as I have said, we had information that some of these groups were trying to acquire guns so that they kill people during such a kavuya. Pre-planned, that information was also available. <clears throat> now, then he asked why, uh, why were there people who are looking like civilians who are you with, with some guns? When you want to catch a thief, sometimes you behave like a thief. Because all those are tactics. Then Betty, new vision. Shooting and killing. Is it a, a, an order from the commander in chief? My friend. You know, some of you make statements irresponsibly. Have you ever heard the commander in chief? tell anybody to shoot and kill. Have you ever? If anything, he's the one who stopped beating. If anything. So, don't make stupid statements which are irresponsible. The police, the security forces, have their own guidelines which are clear and are established to use in different situations and they are responsible and they know how to handle that situation. There's nothing that has changed. Has the security taken, uh, taken over the role of the electoral commission? No. 
the security is enforcing and it is the one which has the duty to enforce the guidelines and the rules and the laws of Uganda. They are the ones obligated by the constitution to enforce. So it is not taking over. It is actually supporting the electoral commission. Then uh, Tayewa Paul. Numbers between 28 and 36. I don't have proof of your statistics, of your sources. That is a matter to establish. But what the police has given us is what they have is 28 until you have other information. If you have it, it is a subject for confirmation. Ivan Kawa, about bloggers. Bloggers, whether you say strike or demonstrate for, for because he has been killed or because he has been uh, arrested, you have no right to incite people for any of those situations. Under whatever situation, the moment you incite the public into violence, you are a culprit and a criminal, and we shall arrest you. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 uh,